Are you the guy that have been trying to impress your clients with top-notch animations and walkthroughs but you don't have the system to give them just that? Are you the guy that have been trying to learn animations and rendering softwares but you don't have the system to do it? Well, this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Autodex Revit to create walkthroughs. Okay, so of course, you cannot compare these walkthroughs to the level of softwares like D5 Render and Lumion. But in life, there is always this saying that use whatever you have to the maximum. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to use whatever system you have as far as it can carry Autodex Revit. I'm going to show you how to use it to enhance your presentation via creating walkthrough videos. Okay, so by the end of this video, I believe you'll be able to have a tool that will be helpful to you in your future practice and help you compete in the field regardless of the low quality system you have. Alright, so if you haven't done so, make this the video you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Hit the like button. Also, hit the notification notification bell to get notified because we release new content like this on a weekly basis so make sure you hit that notification bell to get notified without any further ado we are going to jump right into the main content of this video so let's go all right so creating walkthroughs in revit is pretty simple what you need to do is you are going to go under this view tab here then we are going to click on this 3d icon here and click on this drop down icon then you are going to click walkthrough you are going to make sure before you start clicking this you are going to make sure you are in a plan view as we are now so currently i'm in the ground floor so you are going to take cognizance of this offset this offset dictates the height of the camera so let's say we set it at 1.2 okay so i'm going to try and create an orbital movement here and i'm just going to pick one point here i'm going to pick the second point and i'm just going to pick this point here okay now i'm going to click escape so currently we have created our animation and you're going to see this kind of line with a triangle so we are going to start editing this animation so we're just going to click on it and click on this edit walkthrough okay so now in walkthroughs you are going to be working with frames and keyframes you see in while creating animations animations are a couple of videos compiled together per second so that's why you hear things like 30 frames per second 50 frames per second so you basically work with frames while creating animation why am i telling you this because we are going to be using it to get what we want here and we are going to be taking cognizance of it so the first thing we are going to do you are going to go under this frame here and we are going to go and click on it and change this to zero first so what this does is that it brings us back to this beginning frame then we are going to click on this edit walkthrough again okay so now we are going to go to click on this previous screen frame so it's going to go from this start so now we've clicked on previous screen frame we are going to see in this line there you will see a camera shot and you're going to see this red dot so each of these red dots are the keyframes and those are the points we picked so now in each keyframe we can adjust how we want the camera to be let's just say uh, in this first keyframe i want the camera to face here i could still increase the range the view range of the camera let's say i increase it like this and i change the direction to somewhere here okay so i think this is good so now i'm just going to click on this next keyframe and i'm going to edit this one too i'm going to change the direction to this point and i'm going to extend it and make sure it reaches it goes as far as possible okay i'm also going to now click on next keyframe and i'm going to do the same thing so i'm just going to create an orbital movement so now after i've done all this i'm going to click on open walkthrough and it's going to open the walkthrough so i'm going to see what i did okay so sometimes this thing can be heavy but we just need to manage through it okay so now we've done this i'm going to, going to go over to these frames and i'm going to change this to bring this back to frame one so i'm going to click out and it's going to say do you want to quit editing editing work i'm going to click on yes and i'm going to click on edit walkthrough again so i'll be able to play it. so now i'm just simply going to click on play and i'm going to see what we did Alright, so now we have seen the preview. If you want to edit the total number of frames, you can click on it. And you're also going to see frames per second. So I usually prefer 30 frames per second to form a smooth image. So if you now do some calculation, and you, now, you will now be able to see that these 30 frames per second will result in this animation being this walkthrough being 6 seconds. So I'm just going to click OK. Alright, so now I'm done with this. Now I'm going to, I want to render this animation now. So usually if you want to render images in Revit, you're just going to click on this kettle icon here. But it doesn't work like that for animation. So we're going to close this. So to render this animation, we're simply going to go to file. And we're going to go to export. And we are just going to scroll down. And you're going to see these images and animations. Then we're going to click on it. And we're just going to see this walkthrough here. 
So now you are going to see this dialogue will come out. We are going to see the 30 frames per second. They are going to ask us the format we want. We can choose hidden line. That is this black and white line. But no, I want it to be rendered. Rendering. So now we are we are now going to edit the size of the animation. So we are do, I'm going to change the size to let's say 2K. So it's going to be heavy. So now you can see the height I've adjusted as well. So now it's always good to take note that this is going to be very heavy so it is going to take time to render firstly this is a very big project is a factory and even regardless of whether it's a small project it's still going to take time to render the only thing is that you can do it on system without gpus you just have to be patient and make sure that the system have a lot of ventilation space so it will not get burnt out okay so we're just going to click on okay and we're going to select the place we want to locate the animation so the file type i'm going to change it to okay i'm going to leave it as avi i don't think they have mp4 so i'm going to leave it as avi file so i'm going to name this as animation or revit walkthrough then i'm going to save it and i'm going to take a long break so yes it's going to say video compression um full frames uncompressed i'm going to click ok then i'm going to wait for all the frames to render so i'll be right back <clears throat> all right so as you can see this is the and a walkthrough we just created so we did i didn't set it to just be raw like this and in this shaded setting i actually set it to be realistic but i had to change my mind because it was taking too much time so on the flip side this is not actually sustainable if you have a lower system this will spend, waste a lot of your time and the results are not even so good so this is contradictory to the intro of the video but i think it's still a useful skill to learn if you want to just show so i use this shaded setting so this shaded setup is actually okay and you can it's it's not it doesn't take too much time like that so you can try this option out okay so if this video was helpful don't forget to hit this like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel for more content like this because we release content like this on a weekly basis have a wonderful day to the next video